Hello, everyone, and welcome to AOPA State Policy Forecast. I'm your host, Sam Miller, and today I'll be giving you the most up-to-date information on the current OMP climate. With the help of our members, AOPA tracks and addresses state-level policy challenges across the country. I'll be giving you the scoop on a few of those efforts over the next few minutes. To kick things off, we're headed to Massachusetts for some Medicaid regulatory developments. Amendments proposed by the Massachusetts Division of Health would allow mass health providers to engage in orthotics, prosthetics, and DME services if all regulatory requirements for each individual category are met. Previously, mass health regulations were unclear as to whether providers were allowed to engage in multiple services. It's anticipated that these amendments will not go into effect before February 1st, 2023. Now, let's mosey on back over to Texas to learn more about some new legislation that's taking effect. HB 3459, which passed in June of last year, requires commercial, state-regulated health plans to exempt providers from obtaining prior authorization for an item or service if the provider has submitted at least five prior authorization requests with an approval rating of at least 90%. After analyzing prior authorization requests submitted between January 1st and June 30th, providers should now be receiving notices of their gold card status. Reviewing renewals of exemptions will then take place every six months in January and June. Finally, let's cross the border into Arkansas for some exciting Medicaid news. After discussions with providers in the state, Arkansas Medicaid has proposed a maximum reimbursement rate increase to 90% of 2023 non-rural Arkansas Medicaid. Because not listed on the Medicare fee schedule, the maximum reimbursement rate will be set at 80% of the 2023 Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield rate or manually priced. The last time Medicaid reimbursement rates were set was in 2006. Well, that just about wraps things up. Thank you so much for listening to this month's state policy forecast. If you'd like to learn more about OMP state news, make sure to check out the AOPA Co-op and the state-by-state -state section of the OMP Almanac. This is Sam Miller, signing off.